On today's show, tonight is the night that Tesla unveils its much anticipated Model 3. General Motors scores two major victories in its defective ignition lawsuits, and autonomous race cars are ready to hit the track. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for March 31st of 2016. Tesla will reveal its much anticipated Model 3 tonight and some details are already leaking out. We know it's a sedan built on an all new platform and that a crossover will also be built on it too. An analyst at Carn Energy Research Advisors predicts the EV will have a 65 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 225 mile range. The battery cells have 35% more energy than the cells in the Model S and X. Reservations for the Model 3 begin today, but production and deliveries won't start until late next year. We all knew that General Motors faced a boatload of lawsuits over its defective ignition switches. What we anticipate is that the first two lawsuits would be thrown out of court. The first lawsuit involved a couple who deceived their lawyer and lied to the court about how their financial distress resulting from a car accident made them lose the dream house they had just moved into. It turns out they obtained that house under fraudulent conditions and that was enough for the judge to throw out the case. The second lawsuit determined that the driver crashed his Saturn Sky on an icy bridge and that it had nothing to do with the defective ignition switch. Legal experts say these dismissals mean that GM will probably pay out far less money than originally expected. About a decade ago, Mahindra, the car maker from India, announced it would start selling trucks in the American market. Mahindra is already quite successful selling tractors in the United States, but it wanted to start selling two-door and four-door pickups, as well as an SUV called the Scorpio. It signed a deal with a company called Global Vehicles USA to distribute the trucks, but Global Vehicles did not do a good job of executing its part of the deal, and Mahindra was unable to make those vehicles meet U.S. emissions and safety standards. And so the whole deal collapsed. But 347 dealers had paid $65 million in franchise fees and $160 million to upgrade their dealerships, and they got nothing in return. So now a group of those dealers is suing Mahindra for fraud. Mahindra is now designing a car in the U.S. to sell in the American market, but until this lawsuit is settled, those plans will probably be put on hold. And still to come, would you like to win $1,000 just by writing an essay? Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. The Southwest Research Institute is holding an essay contest for college students, both undergrad and grad. First prize is $1,000, and all you have to do is write a 2,000-word essay that answers two questions. First, how do you envision the city of the future will address transportation through new mobility technologies? And second, how can existing and future intelligent transportation systems benefit from big data and analytics? The deadline is May 6th, and you can get more details at the website ITSA Student Essay at SWRI.org. You also get an all expenses paid trip to San Jose, California for the ITS conference. Automakers use what are called dynamometer sleds to simulate steep inclines on flat road surfaces. They use a series of electric coils that act like a magnet to pull against the truck, which mimics driving up a hill. Ford has been using the same sled for the last 25 years. But the new Super Duty F-Series is so powerful that it had to create a whole new dynamometer. The new one has a maximum drawbar pull of just over 5,600 pounds. That's 181% more than the previous dyno. It's also able to simulate a 30% grade. And if you've ever done any off-roading, you know a 30% grade can feel like driving up a cliff. Coming up next, autonomous race cars are getting ready to hit the track. For the people at Dow, 
racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work, Dow. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. Peugeot just revealed an updated version of its expert commercial van. It's built on an all-new platform and is available in three lengths. It's offered with two diesels, a 1.6 liter and a 2 liter, which can be mated to a 5-speed manual, a 6-speed manual, or a 6-speed automatic, depending on the setup. New technology includes 3D navigation, a retractable head-up display, and a hands-free sliding door that operates similar to Ford's hands-free liftgate. The Peugeot Expert makes its official debut next month at the Commercial Vehicle Show in Birmingham, England. We've reported on the autonomous races that will take place at the beginning of Formula E races next year, and now we're getting our first glimpse at what the vehicles might look like. A designer by the name of Daniel Simon, who also worked on the new Tron movie, designed the race car. He tried not to clutter the car with unnecessary parts to keep a clean look that would still generate substantial downforce because with no driver, the race experience would be as much about styling and entertainment as it would be about competition. And we think this thing looks pretty cool. And look for the first robo race to kick off toward the end of the year. That wraps up today's report. Thank you for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.